Hello, and today we're going to be testing this Ace Gentle Bleaching Agent uh, for some common household chemicals. Okay, so the chemicals you will need for testing the bleach is hydrochloric acid and potassium permanganate. Okay, so here we have two beakers full of 75 millilitres of the bleach. And uh, the most common type of bleach is chlorine based. So we'll test for that first by adding hydrochloric acid. So. And you can see that that no reaction is taking place. This indicates that the bleach is not chlorine and therefore is most probably oxygen. So to confirm this uh, you need to get your potassium permanganate and add a very small amount to your bleach. And there you can see a quite clear reaction taking place. So this confirms that is that it is oxygen based bleaching agent. Okay, so let's look at some of the chemistry behind this. If it is a chlorine based bleaching agent, it contains sodium hypochlorite, which reacts with hydrochloric acid to form chlorine gas. This is easily visible, so there's a good way to test for chlorine bleach. If you add potassium permanganate to sodium hypochlorite, no reaction will take place. So you, so you will be able to see whether it's a chlorine based bleaching agent or not. If the bleach is oxygen based, it contains hydrogen peroxide, which reacts with hydrochloric acid but not visibly, as seen on the left. The hydrochloric acid reacts with this hydrogen peroxide to form hypochlorous acid. This, get, this then gets decomposed by, di by excess hydrogen peroxide back into hydrochloric acid. This is why it is important to use an excess of the bleach. If potassium permanganate is added to hydrogen peroxide, as seen in my previous video, it will react vigor vigorously to form oxygen gas, which can easily be detected for by a, light, by a glowing splint. But I think there's already confirmation, as seen on the right, that the reaction has taken place. Okay, so that's how you test different bleaches. One final note. If you don't know what is contained in your bleach, then you must do this outside because it may contain chlorine, which will form chlorine gas, which you definitely don't want indoors. However, I already, I already knew that my bleach contained oxygen, as you can see there on the ingredients. So I knew it was safe to form, perform this step indoors. So I didn't really need to test it, I just wanted to show you the science. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, rate and comment.